What's going on Guardians? My name is the Black Link, and today we're going to be taking a look at the penultimate reward for the Revelry Destiny 2 Spring Event, the Arbalest Exotic Kinetic Linear Fusion Rifle. And to be sure, I like this thing. It's decent. Overall, it is kind of an average meh weapon, but I have certainly had some fun with it, especially in PvP where I do think it can shine. Now, the Arbalest is definitely not going to be a gun for everyone. There are some things out there that basically do what it does, but better. But I do think that the Arbalest can carve out a pretty good niche for itself in the right situation. Now, of course, you can purchase this weapon from Ava Levante in the tower by building up at least 300 Reveler's Essence. That's the currency for the ongoing Revelry event. Additionally, you'll also need to complete the Party Hard Revelry Triumph, which itself requires that you complete seven other Revelry Triumphs. This can be done fairly quickly. I was able to get my hands on this thing in basically less than a day, and we have made a guide video for how you can effectively farm out the Triumphs really quickly right here on the channel. Link to that, of course, will be in the description box below. But overall, this gun won't take you very long to get. Moving on to the Arbalest stats, it's rocking a range stat of 60, stability of 60, 28 for the handling, a reload speed of 35, 61 for the aim assist, and a recoil stat of 71. Now, the special thing about the Arbalest is, of course, that it's a linear fusion rifle that you can equip as a primary. It is in the 533 charge class of linears, which does include the Dead Ender, the Crooked Fang, and the Man of War. But stat-wise, the Arbalest is actually the top of its class when it comes to both range and stability, two stats you'll very much appreciate, especially in the Crucible. Perk-wise, this weapon comes with the special ability Compounding Force. It fires slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields of combatants. This shield-breaking ability ties directly into the other main perk on the Arbalest, Disruption Break where breaking an enemy shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period. This is the main one-two punch of the Arbalest. Normally, you need to match elemental damage to an enemy shield to break them more easily, but with Arbalest, that one slug does the job 90% of the time. Since the Arbalest is a linear fusion rifle, the round it fires can over-penetrate enemies, and it hits shielded enemies multiple times, ensuring that virtually no elemental shield will survive a blast from this thing. The clear exception, of course, being enemies in Nightfalls with Match Game On or something like that. If there's a shielded enemy bothering you, Arbalest will generally one-shot the shield regardless of element, allowing you to take advantage of the Disruption Break debuff, causing the enemy to take 50% additional damage from all kinetic sources, including the Arbalest itself. That's right, since this weapon is kinetic, you can just land a follow-up shot for massive damage on that target. But there's real potential for Fireteam's stacking of abilities here. Basically now, if you're by yourself in PvE, you probably won't really get too much benefit from the Arbalest. There just simply aren't enough shielded enemies running around to justify using it over other exotics when you could be running something like the Legend of Acrius or the Wardcliff Coil. Sure, you'll get to pop a shield every now and again for bonus damage, but that doesn't really help too much against the other enemies you'll be facing. In a fire team, however, there are some silly things that you can pull. You could have a dedicated shield buster with Arbalest, essentially just running around popping shields and priming enemies for massive kinetic damage from stuff like Izanagi's Burden with the x4 buff, the threat level shotgun, etc, etc. It can also stack with outside benefits from stuff like Hammer Strike, Shattering Strike, Frontal Assault, and other abilities like that. So there is definite teamwork potential there. But of course, that does rely on a lot of outside factors. If I could make one big change here, it would be to disassociate the Disruption Break buff from the target that loses its shield to Arbalest. If that instead just became a native buff that you could activate on the gun itself and use on any target for extra kinetic damage after popping a shield, I think that would open up a ton of options for this exotic to be used in more situations. But you know, those are just my thoughts. And there are of course other benefits to the Arbalest in PvE. After all, it is essentially a heavy weapon in the kinetic weapon slot that uses special ammo, which is of course way more prevalent than the purple bricks we're all looking for. And in addition to the ability combinations we've already covered, this gun actually pairs fairly well with the Chromatic Fire Warlock chest piece in PvE and PvP, where especially in PvP, the explosions can actually one-shot nearby guardians. 
Causing elemental explosions whenever you get a precision kill just works great alongside this exotic's native traits. And in PvE, you'll notice yourself wiping entire waves of lesser adds in one shot. It's not bad at all. Overall, the Arbalest definitely has a niche in PvE, but I do kind of doubt that it will be taking over your exotic slot of choice anytime soon. In PvP, however, the Arbalest performs very much like the Crooked Fang with some additional benefits. To be clear, I really like the Arbalest in PvP. It's like the lowest zoom sniper you could run, with of course the downside of a charge time before you shoot, but the benefit of always spawning with ammo. Its handling, stability, and aim assist are all really good, allowing you to fairly easily land shots down sightlines and even one-shot body shot guardians with an empowering rift. One of the biggest benefits here is of course the super low zoom scope that the Arbalest has, which is very much a cannon zoom to something like a scout rifle. This allows for snappy drag scope shots and really helps to mitigate the absolutely awful effects of flinch when aiming down sights. As a matter of fact, I would dare say that's one of the bigger advantages Arbalest has when sniping in the Crucible. The difference in flinch between the average sniper rifle and the Arbalest is pretty noticeable. And while you'll still flinch a lot with the Arbalest, I did find that it was much easier to correct your shot than it was with other weapons, which is certainly a nice benefit to have in Crucible. Now, unfortunately, the Arbalest is unable to one-shot headshot a super off of spawn, but you do deal enough damage to clean them out with a follow-up body shot, thanks in part to the disruption break ability. Or I guess you could actually leave that job to your teammates, as after you've popped that Guardian in their super once and broken their shield, your teammates will all suddenly deal increased kinetic damage against that super as well. Now, the other bad thing is of course the fact that you will have to deal with the short charge time before you can fire, which can put you at a disadvantage against snipers holding down lanes. But believe me, once you get the hang of it, the charge time will allow you to set up drag shots and take full advantage of the Arbalest's great aim assist to help you land those headshots a little bit easier. As usual, armor-wise, you will definitely want to have on some Linear Fusion Scavenger gear so that you can pick up three rounds per special brick, as well as a possible unflinching Linear Fusion or Kinetic perk to help you stay on target when you're shooting. Overall, I actually really like the Arbalest as a PvP weapon. Sure, you could arguably do the same thing and more with a sniper rifle, but this exotic sits pretty comfortably as an easy headshot weapon with enough side benefits like its high aim assist, its forgiving hipfire accuracy, and some of the silly builds you can run around with like using frontal assault for titans or empowering rift one-shot builds for warlocks, all of those carve out a really decent niche for the Arbalest and the Crucible. So it can definitely be worth running. It pairs well with a decent SMG like Bug Out Bag or the Recluse, and you could even mix it with a hand cannon or something for the benefit of landing body shots with Arbalest and then swapping over and cleaning them up with your secondary. Look, it's not going to be a gun that everyone likes, but I do think it's got its niche in both PvE and PvP. It's definitely a meh, it's okay type of weapon that can be a lot of fun in the right situation. But those are my thoughts on the Arbalest Exotic Kinetic Linear Fusion Rifle. Be sure to leave me yours down in the comment section below. Can't wait to hear how you guys have been using this thing. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. But that's going to be it for me, Guardians. As always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.